Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 30, the last day of our 30 days of watercolor flowers and we are doing the lily, one of my absolute favorites. It's so fun, so let's get into it. So there are lots of types of lilies and you can find your own reference picture, but I went with the classic pink with a really uh, dark pink kind of blended in and it has those speckly dots along the flower petals. I thought that would be a really fun one to show you. So first we are starting with that very classic long and curved petal. So it's a very pointed petal, very long in shape and it has a bit of a curve to the end. Also the flower petals overlap and there's about six petals to each flower. So keep that in mind when you're painting these petals. But what we're going to do first is we're going to paint the petals that you can mostly see along the front edge of the lily. And we're going to paint the petals in the back later on, but we really want to make sure that the center of the lily, the star really of the lily, gets a lot of attention and we don't forget about the colors in that center. So we're going to paint these first few petals and then paint the center and then after the center has dried I'll show you how we'll add that back petal in the back of this flower. So we're going to do the center next which is a really bright yellow green color and the stamen have these really long stems that just kind of go all over the place different lengths so I'm just kind of having fun with how they're coming out going everywhere and not really making anything too uniform. Now you're going to want to make sure to add a really vibrant pink pigment to each of those petals because we're doing that lily that has that really nice pink center down the middle of those petals. And so this is perfect with a loose watercolor style because we're able to get that nice beautiful blending moment. So while that dries we're going to start on a lily up on the right here and for this one I wanted to show a blossom that has not fully bloomed yet and so the flower petals are more pointed upward. It's still going to have a little bit of that iconic curve on the tip of the petal on some of those petals but I'm painting it so that there's a section of the petals that are a little bit open for the front petals so that we are able to see those beautiful center stamen in the end. So as I'm painting it, it will become more clear what all of these petals are doing and where their position is. But right now I know they look kind of like a big jumble of pink petals that don't make any sense. But it will be clearer by the time we're done. And then I am adding a little bit of pink to the bottom of the blossom. Also some pink on the petal that we are going to be seeing the inside of. So now while that dries, we are going to add the greenery. And so I'm just bringing this stem right down, curving it a little bit. Anytime you can curve a stem, it looks really natural and organic. And then bringing another stem back up here to touch to this flower on the right. I'm also going to be painting a bud over here on the right side. And the buds are really cool because they're really long in shape, but they've also got these different sections that you can see and so I'm painting these really long strokes making sure to leave white space between the strokes so that it's as if we can see those little sections of the lily bud. So for the leaves I'm staying really in the tip of my brush mostly and kind of wiggling my brush around to get these kind of chaotic and loose uh, shapes making it just really nice and light and simple. And for some reason, my camera cut out this part, but I had a pre-recorded practice of doing these other leaves. And so I've added that in here. So for these other leaves, the bigger leaves, I did that same kind of technique where I'm using the tip mostly of my brush, kind of wiggling everything around to get these wiggly, natural looking shapes. And we're back to our regular <laughs> footage, but I was glad that I kept that other footage to show you that. I'm also going to paint another little lily bud up here on the top because I felt like it needed that balance. And again, I'm keeping my brush strokes long and making sure to keep white space between them for those different little sections that you can see. So for this petal on the back of our lily, we're going to take a very light wash and paint over the stamen. And it's kind of like a little half circle uh, moon, right? But we want it really, really light. So I'm taking off some of the paint here and I'm also going to dab some of it off with my paper towel. So now that everything is dried on this upper lily, we are taking a 
green color for the stamen. And the reason we can do a darker green color for this stamen versus the other one is because this one is more in shadow. So the stamen's gonna be a little bit darker versus the one on the left. So again, just vary your strokes. Some are going in different directions. Some are taller, some are shorter. And we're just making it peek through some of those petals. So now I've started to add the spot pattern that is so iconic to these lilies onto the petals. And I'm using a very vibrant pink color that is mixed with a little bit of brown. And starting at the base of the petal, where it's closest to the center, I'm doing darker spots and I'm doing them closer together. And then as everything fades out into the lighter pink color, I'm doing lighter spots and I'm doing them more dispersed until I get very, very few towards the edge of the petal. So an easy way to do this is after I use that really dark pigment, I just kind of dabbed my brush onto a piece of paper towel and that really helped the pigment to be a lot lighter from when I went in with these smaller, lighter, daintier spots for the rest of the petal. So I'm going to speed the rest of these spots up just a little bit, but don't forget to add some of the spots on that petal that we've added to the back of our lily and also to the lily petals that we can see on that upper right lily as well. So now to finish off these stamen, I am just adding a little bit of dark green to outline them just a tiny bit. This is just adding dimension, detail, texture. So it really still makes it look like it's light green but we're adding just a little bit of shadow. The tips of the stamen on a lily are super iconic, so it's important to get them right. <laughs> I'm using a very vibrant pink brown color, and the trick is to just make sure that they are angled downward. If you're angling them downward and you kind of change up the position or the direction that they're going in, they will look random in a very natural way. And now that we have finished practicing our lilies, I am adding it to my watercolor flower guide. And I just thought that the beautiful, iconic lily was the perfect way to end our 30 days of watercolor flowers. And I definitely feel like I saved the best for last. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial because I loved it. Thank you so much for being here today on our final day of our 30 days of watercolor flowers. I cannot believe we have finished our chart. I hope you enjoyed this whole process. Thank you again. I will see you next time. Bye.